Hey, hey, I was just going through my uh, Men's Health magazine here and looking at what the editor says, um, David Zinchenko. And David's got a list of tweets here that I thought might help you out, you might enjoy, and I think that makes sense to me. And what winners know? So let me give you his tweets here. Um, what winners know? Gratitude, well expressed, is one of the best investments you can make. That's kind of good, and it makes you feel good inside. It releases a bunch of hormones and endorphins that make you feel great. Um, the eat right rule, this is kind of straight up staple from everybody, um, but obviously he's saying here, the fewer the ingredients, the healthier the food. Yeah, absolutely. If you're grabbing a can, you're grabbing a bag, just take a look at the back of the label and see how many ingredients are inside of that. Uh, I have a rule of thumb, I try and keep it under five or less, and uh, make sure you can pronounce all the ingredients. That way you know that they're real ingredients, or at least you've made them up in your mind, and they should be close to real. But the natural, easily pronounced, raw ingredients, straightforward, under five, less than five. All right, uh, David also says, up in smoke. Oh, this one's not cool with me. Um, sorry if I offend you, but I want to save you and help you lead a healthier, longer life, increase the quality and quantity of your life. So please try and give up smoking if you can, replace it with uh, a sipping on a straw with water, a lemon in water, something. All right, so up in smoke from David says, cigarette smokers work an hour less a day than non-smokers in a recent UK study. That's interesting enough, but that's not why I want you to sort of think it through. I want you to help take care of yourself inside. But if workers in... Um, in the UK, the study are showing that they're working less. It's really interesting why others don't get more breaks as well. Or it gives you some feedback and fodder if you need to uh, comment why you deserve an extra break or an extra day's holiday a year. All right, that's for the non-smokers. Um, breakfast Hall of Shame. Ooh, this one's scary. David found this one out, and I am so blown away by it. Dunkin' Donuts, 600 calorie. Pumpkin muffin has more sugar than three ice cream sandwiches. That's ridiculous. And that's kind of like a breakfast staple. Um, coffee and a pumpkin uh, pumpkin donut. Oh, man. How about the graffiti genius coming from David? Doodling or scribbling during meetings or class can improve content memory by 29%. 29%. Doodle away, my friends. Next time I'm doing a webinar or a live session, and uh, I catch you doodling, I might give you a little handshake and say, good for you. You might be retaining more of what I say. <laughs> Maybe you're just scribbling it off. Anyways, uh, David also says, fish for muscles, this is cool. Omega-3 fats may help signal your body to turn protein into muscle, says Washington University study. I mean, anything that can help us carry more lean muscle to burn calories and to keep the fat off, is good in my books, but omegas we typically know for keeping the body feeling good, the joints working, the hormones inside working well, the brain food if you will, um, but if omega-3s can help signal and trigger protein or increase in protein to muscle ratio, that's all the better for more omegas. You can't get enough of them. How about the wired life from David? 40% of people who go a day without internet service feel lonely. Wow. Only 23% feel free when they lose the internet or they're without the internet for the day. And that's usually because they chose to be without it. Um, we are a connected society today. So get out there, go for a run with a partner or a friend, and you're going to feel connected even better than on the internet. Better sweet tweets. All right, here's one kind of coming from a tweet list. It's kind of funny, but... Uh, David says, better sweet tweets. Frequent tweeters have shorter relationships, says a survey. That's interesting. I guess it's 140 characters or less, my friends, and you're on to the next date. All right, terrifying. This one's a little scary. The average piece of chicken has 270% as much fat as it did in 1970, while its protein content has dropped one-third. Wow. Wow, that is scary. For example, if we had a chicken breast that had 100, imagine we had a chicken breast that had 100 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. That's going to be like the whole chicken. But um, that being said, the fat has now gone up to 27, um, 27 grams, where the protein has dropped down to approximately 70 grams of protein. That's a big difference. I mean, 
a 10 gram chicken breast, 10 grams of protein now becomes 7 grams of protein in a chicken breast. The fat content of about um, 2 to 3 grams of fat has now gone up to, let's say 2, has gone up to almost 6 grams of fat. So if the protein went down to 7 and the fat came up to 6 grams of fat, it's not a healthy balance. It's not good. So choose your proteins wisely, and that comes from the uh, the tweet life of David Zinchenko, the men's health editor. Thought that was pretty interesting, and I just wanted to share it with you. And uh, that is in this month's men's health. Yeah, big muscles, big muscle secrets look great, of course. And um, that's it. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Cheers. Good morning.